What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another quick and easy Photoshop tutorial. Now in today's tutorial, we are gonna learn how to put a moon into your sky in pretty much any photo. So this is the original, and then when we add the moon, it looks like this, and it's all made with Photoshop brushes. That's what we've been using lately, a lot of Photoshop brushes. So not a lot of manual work, really easy and simple. As always guys, right before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all the videos. You can also check out the Instagram, Twitter, and Discord link all down in the description. And if you like this song you're currently listening to, you can sign up for a 30 day free trial to Epidemic Sound. So you can also have really cool music for your videos too. Let's get started. Okay, as always, two things you can download for this video. This is the picture that you can download from unsplash.com. It's completely for free. I'll leave a link down below. And the second thing that you'll need to download is a Photoshop brush that is also completely for free. As you can see here, Moon Brushes BY Hawksmont. Well, there's a link down below. Download these brushes, extract the file right here. It should look something like this. And then we're gonna install this quickly into Photoshop. So on your uh, toolbar right here, window, tools, if it doesn't show, this will open up the toolbar. Click your brush tool, drop down on this arrow right here, click this icon right here and then do import brushes. It'll open up and you can click the brushes that you just downloaded and import these really awesome brushes in the Photoshop. Now what you can do is actually go onto your thing. Uh, let's create a new layer, uh, go to our brush tool, drop down on this and then find the moons that you just imported right down here. Uh, let's use uh, moon seven. Now the outer surface of the moon needs to be white. So let's make sure the color is set to white and then let's just paint it onto here by clicking once. Looks good to me. And then next up, we need to create a new layer and move layer two below layer one, grab our brush tool, go to uh, our regular um, brush, this one right here, and then uh, paint a circle on the screen. Now we need to move this circle on top of this. Now real quick, let's go to layer, layer style, and then color overlay and change the circle to a dark color. Uh, dark gray is totally fine. As you can see, it's showing under the moon right now. And now we need to center up layer two behind the moon. So let's move it over and make sure it's kind of in the center. It should line up pretty accurately for you. And then hold, um, hit control T or command T on your keyboard. And then uh, let's scale this down and then hold command or alt on your keyboard to scale from the center to scale it down to kind of perfectly match the size of this moon. And that actually looks pretty good. Let's move it over a little bit to make sure it's directly in the center, just like so. And if we zoom out, it should look totally fine. There's a nice edge, it looks good. All right, now what we wanna do is actually highlight both these layers and then put them in a group by clicking the folder icon down here. Now what we wanna do is grab the group, go to layer and then layer style and then do outer glow. Now these are my options that I currently have set. You can copy these over to yours for the outer glow, spread zero, size 250, range, jitter, color, all that stuff, and then click OK. Now what we wanna do is right click group one and do, and do convert to smart object. Then once it's converted, go to filter, camera raw filter, which is, if you watch my videos, I love this filter, it's one of my favorite things. Uh, let's hit effects, increase the grain to kind of match the grain of the original photo. Go back to basic, we can increase the clarity a little bit just to give it a little more of a grit. It's kind of my thing. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. And then click OK. Now what we can do is actually hit Command T or Control T on our keyboard and actually scale this down a little bit to kind of fit into the sky. And click the check mark. Now change the size of this to your liking, but there is our moon in the sky. Now you can modify the glow, all that stuff to better fit the scene, make it blend in a little more but I just wanted to show you really quickly how you can use something like Photoshop brushes to create a moon in your sky without having to download like an image or a PNG or anything like that. And also what's great about the brushes is it does give you a lot of different options. If we jump into our brushes real quick, we can quickly paint these out to see what they all look like. There's that, moon two, moon three, moon four, and five. And as you can see, uh, this just keeps going. They all look pretty great. I um, mean, you can mess around with this as much as you want, do the same method as before, and they should look pretty good. Now, if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below and I can circle back and help you guys. And you can also jump onto the Discord down below to also ask questions where I can help you directly. 
As always, guys, I'm Max. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of the channel. If you are new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Other than that, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.